please subscribe. The BMW G310R offers riders a premium option that is still within reach. To that end, while it was engineered entirely in Germany, BMW partnered with Indian motorcycle manufacturer TVS, which churns out more than 2 million bikes per year, to build it. At a US retail price of $4,750, it is certainly an attractive option and is on par with its competition. Powering the G310R is an all-new, 313cc liquid-cooled single-cylinder engine that BMW says is good for 34 horsepower and 20.7 pounds to feet of torque. It's a sophisticated little thing, with dock and four valves, and many of its internals such as the camshafts and DLC, diamond-like carbon, coated rocker arms are based on those used in the S1000RR. It handled the California freeways without breaking a sweat, settling smoothly into its sixth gear and humming along with traffic at 75 miles per hour. A rotating counterbalancer in front of the crankshaft tames much of the vibration, and for the most part the G310R delivered a smooth ride, only becoming buzzy in the upper limits of the rev range. Neutral could be a bit elusive at stops, but that might be attributable to the newness of the engine. My test bike had less than 300 miles on it. A bike with such good performance and handling deserves equally good brakes, and BMW once again delivered. The G310R is fitted with stainless steel brake lines, a big 300mm disc up front squeezed by a 4-piston caliper, and a 240mm disc in back fitted with a 2-piston caliper. BMW 2-channel ABS is standard. The combination works very well, with plenty of bite for aggressive sport riding and good feel at the lever, although I wish it were adjustable. I found the position to be just a bit too far away for my female sized hands, and it seems like a strange oversight for a bike that will appeal to smaller riders. But it's a minor complaint on an otherwise well thought out machine. BMW claims that the G310R will return fuel economy in the range of 70 to 75 miles per gallon, so with its 2.9 gallon gas tank it would be good for 200 miles or more between fill-ups. According to the digital display on my test bike, I was averaging more like 64 miles per gallon, but then again we were pushing the pace and having a lot of fun, and let's face it, 64 miles per gallon isn't so bad at 350 pounds, claimed, wet, and with a seat height of 30.9 inches, the G310R should make a stellar urban commuter. We won't see G310Rs and BMW dealerships until the summer of 2017, but until then you can decide which color you'd like, cosmic black, polar white, strato blue or, our favorite, pearl white with BMW Motorsports red and blue accents and start making room in the garage. Even if you never thought you'd own a BMW, the G310R is worth a look if you're in the market for a small, fun ride. Please subscribe.